How your CPU is spying on you. How to detect and stop CPU tracking once for all. Here's a funny fact that might shock you. Many anonymous hackers, pen testers, privacy focused people think if they use TailOS, OneX, or any privacy focused operating system, they've escaped Intel or AMD tracking. Before saying anonymity is a dream, my name is Tony and let's go ahead. By searching the official Intel documentation, we can see in the eye-catching figure 2 telemetry life cycle that it represents the full Intel methodology as they claim. Let's check some claims before going to practical steps. Intel claims they monitor all mentioned devices in the Intel ecosystems. So, Intel methodology is detecting the fault, detecting hardware performance, and detecting UX indicators. Not only detecting, they are analyzing all your collected data. The same approach is applied to AMD as well. This is actually hilarious and a bit scary because no matter what operating system you install on your personal laptop, Intel, AMD telemetry and other tracking services are still spying on. So, how your CPU is spying on you? It's not one single thing, it's an entire ecosystem of telemetry and other tracking services designed to collect data. Let's break down the main culprit. Let's analyze Intel CPUs. Intel telemetry types. First one, Intel Management Engine, ME. This is a separate microcontroller inside your Intel CPU. Runs even when computer is off. It has full network access and operate independently of your main operating system. Intel Telemetry Services, this runs in Windows and collects usage data regarding hardware performance, driver usage, and system stability. Intel Driver Update Utility, constantly check for driver updates and report back about your system configuration. Intel Graphics Control Panel and Utilities, tracks how you use graphics settings and hardware acceleration. The scary part, most of this happens at level deeper than your operating system. That's why switching to Linux or using a privacy-focused operating system doesn't fully stop it. Your hardware itself is talking to Intel servers and send encrypted packets. Ruben, Edith, you said us for in scenario. Don't just take my word for it. Let me show you this tracking happening in real time. I recently did a small research project to find a script that performs MITM attack designed for telemetry and tracking detection. I couldn't find one, so I created the script. The script, the first on GitHub, designed to perform a MITM attack with the specified filters intended to collect telemetry and tracking data and display them in real time. Copy this command, one click, download all files, install the required dependencies, and run the script. Please note, all required URLs and instructions are listed in this video's description. We're now waiting for the dependencies to finish installing. You can customize the capture folder. I recommend choosing temporary folder because uh, it auto cleans the mess after a boot. And here I will choose user local bin for the executable bash script. I recommend reading the instruction to capture in the future, click the desktop icon that was created by the script or run u underscore capture in your terminal. And also I implemented a feature in the script that will auto detect the available adapters and the plugged in wireless or wired cards. You can choose the first option, no filter, to perform a basic MITM and redirect all traffic on your network or redirect traffic from a specific device to your own PC for monitoring. 
Please note this video and tool was designed for educational purposes only. Well, I will choose enter and I will pick up any PC from my isolated network. So you can choose live mode to see all actual traffic from the specific device that we're performing MITM for telemetry and tracking detection. Even if your PC is off and connected to network. Yeah, <laughs> scary little bit. Or you can choose option 2 for saving the capture file only. Or you can choose option 3 to do both live monitoring and saving the capture file at the same time. So now we're performing AMITM on one of our connected devices from our isolated network. It may take a long time to detect Intel telemetry, except when you're installing a Intel driver or opening the Intel control panel at the same time, because Intel hardware telemetry runs as a scheduled service. It may not available on all hardware, and especially the open source one or the old CPUs, old Intel AMD CPUs. And here we go, we are successfully capture Intel telemetry, an active service running on our hardware. So why don't we run the Telecap tool again? This time we will monitor all active network live traffic on that PC to identify every active tracking and telemetry service in real time. To do this, simply run you capture again, but don't select any specific telemetry filter. This allows the tool to capture everything that's happening on the network, giving us full view of background connections, system updates, and potential telemetry pings. I will go ahead and choose the live option so we can watch the traffic flow and analyze it directly as it happens. All right, here we go. So now we're monitoring all traffic coming from that PC. Expect more features, updates, and enhancement for the telecap soon. So I suggest following GitHub under code repository. Now it's the time for what you came for, how to stop Intel Spyware 100%. While well, you can disable some service in Windows or Linux or any operating system, the best effective working solution is to block this communication at your network edge, like your router or your PFSense firewall. There is a huge diversity of network devices, from home routers and enterprise routers to PFSense, Pablo Alto firewalls, FortiGate and others. I will pick up two simple old random routers to give you a general idea of how to block a telemetry service running at the hardware level, such as CPU level telemetry. By looking at the router settings, you can block a specific tracking connection, you can choose to block a specific IP or URL, which is sometimes called service filtering, to prevent a specific URL or port from communicating with external networks or the internet. Why your router? Because this protects every device on your network with a single configuration. Here's your ultimate block list. By visiting the Hacker Monitor webpage under codetesting.com slash telecap, you can see the URLs for AMD and Intel telemetry, tracking and other services. Please note that blocking these URLs will stop the driver's updates or Intel AMD access. So I recommend updating drivers and regularly checking for updates before blocking. Intel and AMD are two of the greatest companies on earth. This video was made for security researchers and pen testers only. Wait, wait, wait. We are not done. How do we know it's working? Let me check. So let's open PowerShell and paste the verification script from undercodetesting.com slash telecap as video description. And yeah, requests are blocked. You see, the connections are now being refused.
Your computer is trying to phone home, but your router is slamming the door in Intel face. <laughs> and that's how you take back control of your hardware. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. Because privacy should be a team sport, not a solo mission. See you soon!